Howdy, Legendary Void here, and man, I am back from my PAX Unplugged journey, and woo, was that a ride. I did pretty bad, actually. I brought my Blasters deck. Um, I went 3-6 and six out of the 9 rounds, so not too hot for me, I suppose. Um, I think Sealed messed me up a little bit, didn't get the greatest cards in the world, plus I had some pretty bad matchups, too. But um, overall, um, I think I learned about the game a little bit better. Um, I kind of realized my understanding of the game wasn't quite what I thought it was. Um, I think I have a better idea of what's going on with the game. Blaster, again, is not as strong as I thought he was. Um, I guess I'm back to the drawing board. I've got some ideas just based on what I saw, but I'm going to try and come up with some fresh new ideas. But uh, I guess we can kind of talk about the tournament because I wanted to record, but I also wanted to kind of just enjoy this experience since this really was the first big, like really, really big tournament that I've gone to. Because um, when I played Pokemon, I went to like a league, league championship for Pokemon. Um, but that was not even nearly half. That was barely like a tenth of what PAX Unplugged was. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk into it. Let's just go ahead and talk about the matches I went up against. So first round, it was actually a Blaster Mirror. The guy I played against, he was running Blaster as well. Um, I managed to get the coin flip on the first turn. Uh, sorry, on the first game. So I went first. We basically went damage for damage on that first game. Um, but I managed to edge out ahead of him, so won that. Uh, game two, he just had horrible flips off his blaster. I think on the first turn, he got a piece of tyranny, didn't want to kill his fire drive, and then just kind of flipped horribly from there, flipping his blank pips whenever he was attacking. Well, uh, it was pretty bad for him, actually. But um, I managed to beat him out 2 0 there. Uh, second round, uh, I went against the weird version of Dead End. It was Nightbird, Dead End, Cliff Jumper, and Road Hugger. Um, and he kind of used Nightbird's ability to spam little bits of damage onto me uh, with Nightbird. And I, that's what kind of messed me up because I didn't know where to put the damage at. Um, I put one onto Steeljaw in the second game. And he was able to one-shot Steeljaw because of that. Um, and that's pretty much why I lost that. Yeah, Dead Engine's a strong deck. I think I just kind of overestimated it because of how much I've played against it. Uh, round three was the start of Sealed. Um, I didn't get that great characters out of my pack so I kind of was forced to go too wide um, I ended up using Ion Storm and Lockdown because I pulled an opportune offensive so I was hoping I can try and abuse that with Ion Storm I think I drew into it like once out of all the games um, but uh, the deck was okay I also got an overwhelming advantage which I had just the right setup of upgrades that I could uh, pull it off but the most annoying part is that I, was, I had it set up four times within all those games and I always missed it by one pip every single time. Because I would have a kinetic intense fire whip, that's what it is. When you flip to another mode, bolt two to one of your guys. Um, so the bolt two kind of helped me flip a couple more cards. But I always missed it one pip every time. And it was always frustrating because those would have won me games. But uh, first round of sealed, I went against a. Oh man, what was it? It was an Astro Train deck, that's what it was. And he was just swinging too hard, I couldn't get past it. It was kind of annoying. Even if I was able to bop his upgrades with Iron Storm, it didn't matter because he was just swinging for so much. Um, second round, I went against a Galaxy Prime, which really, really sucked. Um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get past that. Again, I missed an overwhelming advantage, which would have got me, uh, at least in the game three, killing Galaxy Prime, I think. But um, that was that. I think my record at that point was one in three. Uh, so not very good. Um, round five, we had another round of sealed. Um, I was playing against the dude who had, I think it was smoke screen, fire drive, and the other character was Ironhide. He got Captain Ironhide. Um, he had the unfortunate luck of pulling almost all whites, which kind of worked in smoke screen's favor because he likes having a white upgrade on him. And he had acute reflexes, which would give him basically plus two plus two if he flipped a white. Um, but I was able uh, to almost always bop that off with Iron Storm, so I kind of shredded through him. That put me at two and three. So looking not looking good for me so far. I kind of had to win out from there just to place top 32. Of course, that didn't happen. Uh, round six, I went up against a Springer deck, and he was playing it with Fire Drive and Jazz, which was a really, really weird combination, I thought, because he had just enough whites that he was able to sometimes only take the two damage on Jazz, and sometimes he wasn't, so it, you kind of had to go all in or not really, and kind of just hope he didn't flip the whites, which I kind of gambled that and I think game two, which is why I won game two, um, but it ended up 
he ended up taking it just because he's able to draw such a ridiculous amount of cards and take out my guys. And did I mention I could never draw force field? I think I think I drew six force fields in the total of nine games. So horrible. <laughs> that was very horrible. Uh, seeing as Ramhorn almost always died in one hit. So that was that was fun. Uh, game number seven. I went up against an Ion Storm Trigger Happy Flame War deck, which somehow I was able to beat that out by try, uh, spamming Daring Counterattack with Pier 6, just getting through damage because he wasn't able to flip enough. I would kill uh, Flame War real quick and then get past Trigger Happy to just have to swing at his Ion Storm. And it worked pretty well. I was able to beat him. I think it went 2 and 1. I think I lost the first game, 1 second 2. Pretty sure that's how that went. Round number eight was actually against a, another YouTuber um, from the Orange vs. Blue channel. I'll, I'll put a link to their channel in the description below. He's playing Major Shockwave with Ratbat and Ravage. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, dude. That was not the most fun game I've ever played. Because I would occasionally get my Pier 6 off onto him. And then he would just heal it straight back off. By looking at the top card of his deck, tapping Ratbat, heal two across the board, and then he would play point position on the Shockwave, so I'm forced to attack Shockwave, can't get rid of his healing source. It was horrible. He won first game, I won second by swapping into my General Optimus, trading out Fire Drive and Ramhorn, uh, but there was no way I could beat that. It was just such a ridiculous, ridiculous game, because he would always drop my hand to zero, and then I couldn't top deck anything I needed, but... That's how it goes. Shockwave was literally, I think, the worst matchup for Blaster. So, uh, there's not much I could do there, even if I sideboarded in all my stuff to counter it. Uh, and then the final round, I went up against a uh, Insecticons deck, which I felt like I could beat, because Insecticons is a pretty typical deck. I know how to play against it, and I know Blaster can beat it. He's done it in the past. I could not. Uh, I won the second game. I lost the first one just because she was able to outdamage me so fast. Um, and then in the third game, I just could not draw any of my direct damage whatsoever and scrap mills what enemy there. So that was horrible. Um, honestly, I am ashamed that I lost the bugs. But um, that's how that goes. Um, I guess I got unlucky this time. Just couldn't draw into any of the stuff I wanted to. I felt like the deck was drawing pretty pretty frequently with all the confidences and stuff I have in the deck, but just could never see anything that I needed. And I think that was really my downfall there. But enough about my dreary losses. Let's go ahead and get to the stuff that I actually got while I was there. I got a hundred sided dice and I paid way too much for this. This was a, uh, almost at a hundred bucks. It's 25 bucks for this little yellow marble thing with hundred sides. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I just wanted it. <laughs> Uh, at their merch booth, they were actually selling sleeves uh, for packs unplugged. This is what I played my blaster deck in. So, and they're actually pretty good. They don't like on the surface. They don't look very high quality, but whenever I was playing them, they actually felt that way. So, props to them, I guess, for being able to do that. Um, I also got this deck box. Oop, sealed. Got a little divider in there. I think it only holds like one deck, but that's still fine. It's a pretty cool box. Um, and I also bought this double-sided playmat which I'm sure everyone there has it was 50 bucks so you got the siege 2 side here with uh, Lord Megatron and on the other side you got the siege 1 side with the general Optimus here with all the Autobots it's a pretty cool mat probably gonna keep using this and then on the third day when I came back uh, Cameron from Arbitrary Hero was like hey you get your binder I said what <laughs> he's like yeah they didn't communicate it very well but everyone was supposed to go and get a binder so I got this cool Autobot binder, which I will probably put all my, probably convert all my battle cards to try and fit within these confinement. But I had a good time, despite all the losses and bad games. Uh, I had a good time. It was a good learning experience. I had never been to one of these before, like I said, so I really didn't know what to expect. Um, if I had to give some advice to WotC, um, I know there were some problems with uh, people not being able to call over judges sometimes like you'd hear people's like judge like screaming real loud um, because they there was I don't think there was just enough of them but I don't know if that was a pastime problem or a Watsy problem but um it was fine I, I it didn't happen all that often but it, it, those things happen um, another thing was there I think they do need to have a better way to communicate to the people that their time for the rounds is up because I think even I, I'm guilty of this. 
but I think we played past the time sometimes and didn't go to the tiebreaker stuff um, because we weren't even aware that time had gone off. There's no alarm. There's nobody over the speaker telling us to stop. Um, and then some people, I, I one of the people I faced against, I think the dude with the almost all white deck was saying that he lost the previous round because uh, he and his opponent did the wrong tiebreaker stuff. Uh, otherwise, he would have won. So um, if we could just find some way to, I don't know, find some way to get that more widespread. And I suppose the community could do that as well. Um, so I, it would be greatly appreciative if we could somehow uh, get that up and post in the Facebook page where everyone can see it. Um, so they don't have to go digging for it somewhere because even I didn't know I had to learn from some people on how to do it I think I lost one of the rounds to health because I was down. I think it was one of the sealed rounds I think, whew, I think against the Astro Train deck. I lost because of health um, Yeah, overall it was a really good tournament. I had fun. I got to meet some cool people I didn't get to say hello to everyone I wanted to but that's that's fine uh, They were all talking to themselves talking to other people battling. That's fine. That's cool you said hi to me hello hello <laughs> um, but it was a fun experience I'm really glad that I went um, I did get two shinies in Pokemon Go while I was there so wasn't totally worthless <laughs> I'll probably be putting up a deck list for my blaster list sometime in the future um, again it didn't do very well so I wouldn't I wouldn't mimic it wasn't very good I mean if you want to see it put it in the comments below I'll, I'll post it up somewhere, whether it be in a video or on my Twitter. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully, we can continue to do this and maybe go again next year. Hopefully, to even more events like maybe PPG Dallas if they... I don't know if it'll be in Dallas next year, but if they ever do it again somewhere close to me, I'll try and go to that. We'll do some recording, hopefully, because I now have that experience under my belt, so I don't have to re-experience it. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. This is a great community. Hopefully we can keep it going for a long time. I really do love this game, even if I'm bad at it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've said that for like four times now. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Peace.